I've got a creamer. There you go. First bulb. Good morning, guys. Rusty Peak is here as well. Just got a D lock. I'll put D lock down there. Glenn likes a hook, so we've got a little hook. I don't know if you can see that. There we go. Put the hook down there. We've got another hook. Little boat hook, or the remains of one. And I've had, let me clean it a little bit. Don't know if you can see, let me take my glove off. Here we go, guys, we've got an 8mm blank fire bullet, still intact as well. It's definitely an 8mm blank fire because it's got the green plastic cap on, so. Nice. Check this out guys, a joint effort between Glenn and myself. Glenn found it and then got bored pulling it in so I had to finish pulling it all in but we've got about 100 metres of television coax cable. <laughs> I always wanted to be on TV but not this way. <laughs> so, just found an old pram frame. Put the old suspension on there look. And that's the uh, wheel hubs. Very old pram. I've just found a scooter and attached to it. Look, all we need now is the kid. <laughs> you got me, Steve. I got your wibbly look. It's a slimy one and all. Is it? Oh, is it one of them like squidgy things? Yeah, you feel that? Ooh. <laughs> yeah, Mary. Oh, you're all right. You can, you can keep that one. <laughs> yeah, that's a keeper. Oh, Steve's just pulled out a bike, ain't you, Steve? Yeah, it's almost a rider, but it needs some air in the tyres. Apart from that, it's in pretty good condition. I'm not sitting <laughs> on that seat, though. <laughs> We've also had another Wibbly. Another one? So, Marie's going to be well in for Wibblies today. <laughs> and we had a fire extinguisher. And everyone at that, I know. Spot that. Oh dear. Naughty, naughty. Got a bike, Glenn? Here we go, we've got a bounty bike. And it's a rider. I know there's a rider, it's still got air in the tank. Yeah. <laughs> <It's not there. laughs> is this a peaky thing going on this morning, is it, yes, like with bikes? Yeah. The bike competition. Single oh, you you know oh, I'm going to chip. I'll be Poncherello. <laughs> nobody can remember the other guy. Am I the good looking one? <laughs> no, I am. Hang on, mine's a ladies. Oh! <laughs> yeah, you're cross part in a very persuasive way there, Rusty. Fuck oh, bikes! Fuck oh, bikes! Bikes! Found force camp last week. He said, "Whatever we create, he says, I know we're going to be here." No such luck, such luck. No, it's not a I'm <laughs> 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 Yeah, but why the 18? Why not chain gang? Yeah. It's chain gang. It's chain gang. Where are you? I'm 49. Have you never heard the song of chain gang? You're 28. You are? Here you are. Chain gang? Has anybody ever heard the chain gang? I haven't. There you go. 
What you got? A little disc. Oh. And combination padlock. Ooh. Shall I keep that for you, Marie? Yeah. <laughs> I've only been here two seconds, the rest of them have been at it two hours. Look what I just pulled out. Back my rucksack, I'm going to have a coffee now. <laughs> Got a chisel. There we go. This, that one, ah. that's what you want, peaky dippers. out for a magnet guys I've just pulled it out the water it's a tiny thin little thing that must be one of those you buy off wish <laughs> oh not too bad yeah the bombs and they happen multiple times so like oh so you can you can the moment you have to think about the door between the city and that and that's really good find it's a big so caster I've got a foot, a knife, dim knife, and I've got a bike bell. <laughs> I've got a fork to go with his knife. <laughs> Rusty just found this, but we, oh, the crud's coming off. I wasn't sure if it was an old coin. There's something on it. I've got a video. <laughs> well. <laughs> I've got my razor blade there, look. It's not real, by the way. violent again. <laughs> <laughs> so he's picking on a rusty now. <laughs> You're going to divorce him. It's thin, isn't it? Mm -hmm. It is. I don't know what that was. Just a blank disc, guys, but... Uh, well, it shows yeah. it was an old coin. We wanted to check it out, but... Always best to check. Yeah. Really? I have got battery. Battery's bigger, brother. <laughs> the handle of a knife. Fork handle. And something. Oh, it's a track rod end. That's an old one. That's tiny. What's this track rod end? Yeah. That's, that's really old. That's one for Mr. Perry. <laughs> Five feet. There's the car park. Oh, so it's the same material as the green. Yeah, but off what? Oh, that's ancient. <laughs> that's really ancient. Uh, old Morris, or I think it's something like a glass in the seven or something. Yeah, it goes back that far. This is this is throwing me a bit. I don't know what this is. No, I don't want to be held on like that. I knew that one would drive you mad. Tie rod end, ball joint, it's something like that, but that's really, really old. It's got to be something small like a Austin 7 Johnny or something. It is. What do you think that's going to be when I knock it off? Oh. Any ideas? A dagger. I don't know what it would be. The hammer. I don't know. I'm going to knock it off. I'll show it to you later. But first find of the day, big find. A frame or part of an A frame. Interesting, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> it certainly looks like it. Hello, Roger. Hello, it's All right. It's tapped it off a little bit, and we think it we was. We tapped it off. We think it was a flint lock, <gasps> but it's so far gone. <coughs> you can just see the end of a a barrel in there. So that was on the end. 
I don't, I don't, oh there, sorry, there's the end of the, what we thought was the barrel, look. That's round. Oh, it is an oil. I know it is. Oh, I know. No. It's just, it's just too far gone, isn't it? It's definitely a flintlock, yeah. Yeah. It is. Yeah. Did you tap it off the wall? No, it's just No, I was away, only tapping it with that, Glenn. Oh. That what is we told you after last week about tapping things. <laughs> <laughs> well, at least I didn't drop it out of the water in the water this week. It is. It's definitely an old pistol. There's, I, your, there's your trigger. Yes, that's that. So I thought that was the trigger. The this was the percussion cap. Yeah, so that's is. exactly what I expected to see there. It is. Yeah, you've got a chamber here. Chamber, chamber here. Chamber, and then your barrel. It's, it is. It's definitely one. I tell you what I'll do, guys. I will take it home. And see and what I can and, salvage. And stick it back I'll stick it back together with sticky black plastic, <laughs> and then we'll show you on next week's finds. I'm going to take it home. Yeah. So all of that's got to go in my bucket. And I've had a very exciting the second one I've had now. Petrol cap and free pens on the wall. <laughs> and as you do, look, nowhere near a set of train tracks, but rail track explosive. Oh no. Track inside. <laughs> Unbelievable. <laughs> Every time. More chain. And you a proper chain gang you today, aren't you? Marie's oh, found uh, a nice old padlock there, look. Look at that. Oh, we'll take it back to Lynn, see what's on it. Good on you, Marie. About the best thing you've had so far. <laughs> <laughs> I've got my new apple catchers on. They're rubbish, I have to pull them up over my nipples. I'm down them for you. I have to keep them up over my nipples. <laughs> I just like to grab that now. <laughs> so, I pedalled here, stopped at the bar, I'm filing out for later. And Peaky Dippers, we can't go anywhere these days without finding bolt croppers. There's an awful lot of criminals out there who've lost their bolt croppers. Well, we've got them all. We've got them all. <laughs> That's an old one. Oh my life. Really old. <laughs> and we've got the battery, spare battery off a of mobile phone. The inevitable spoon. I've got the peaky disease oh, now. Oh no, Rusty. Um, I've got the you've, peaky disease. You've caught the spoon disease. <laughs> and we've got a little pen knife as well. I doubt that'll clean up though, but it's only a 19th. We're going to move down now and see what we can get further down.
out of Vita Trolley. The wheels have gone now. <laughs> I just pulled out a motor tool, I think. But it's a bit stiff at the moment, so. So I've got that, end of a golf club, club, and I've actually got the handle as well. And I've just found that, but that might clean up because I might take this stuff off, which is old wood, see? And I might put some new wooden plinths on there and uh, put my display on there. Might take that back. It'd be a good display for the Lee's Niggly Wobblies. Oh, hang on. Talk about Wiggly Wobbly. I've had the remains of a spade. Padlock. We've got some tunes. An old car stereo there. Let me try that one. That's all right. You that one. <laughs> it's waterproof. I found a radio as well. And it is a perfect lead for Marie's Wibbly Wobblies. Look. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if you're going to do it though, put a proper wibbly wobbly on it. <laughs> there. Let's have a proper wibbly wobbly on it. <laughs> like that. Yay! <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> Some nice bikes going past here today. Had to let mine go. Because <coughs> my reactions aren't quick enough anymore and I can't kill myself. But it's uh, happy days. Um, lock ring? Is it? Lock ring? No idea. Don't know. Some sort of bracket there, quite heavy. Not just a piece of bar. And uh, a big wing nut. A big wing nut. Really hitting a target today, you know. Oh, I didn't get a full spoon today. Look, I've had a, I've had a handle to a spoon. No, I've, got, just I've got the peaky curse. Look, what I've got <laughs> another one. But I just found, I've just pulled this out. Really interesting find. It's oh, actually it's, cigarette case. it's all metal. I think it's that's got, where the light was at the top, Steve. It's got some ornate work around it. But it's, it's a tin of some sort, so that's going back for uh, when to clean up. Yeah, it is a tin, isn't it? I was thinking like, like a shape of a case or something, but it's made to look a bit like a book. Yeah. That's, that's worth the clean up, Steve. Definitely. Quite heavy as well. I wonder if there's something in it. Oh, could have his second gold coin. Well, you want me to clean it up for you? Yeah, that's, <laughs> that's a clean up for Glenn, that is. Ooh. That's an interesting one, that. I, mean, I can tell you now we tempt to. <laughs> it is, it's done to make it look like a book. It is, yeah, yeah, it is. I wonder if it's some kind yeah. of savings. It could tip. also be a, a really ornate pencil sharpener look. Give over, they didn't have <laughs> pencil sharpeners in these days. <laughs> <laughs> they used to not anyway, what about my pole vault? Oh my god! Oh, I can't reckon I can do some world record. Oh my lord! Don't, like do oh. Don't get touching that wire with you, you'll get an electric shock. What wire? Is that electric? Oh. <laughs> oh How tall do you reckon that is? Well, it's got to be 15 foot. But the will keep it working. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I'll put it down. I just want to put it down now. Oh, no. Oh, it's it's that thing. Thing. Oh, wow. Wow. <laughs> Oh, we got a cash box. Oh, go on, Rusty. Come on, do something in it. Oh, it's been opened. <coughs> no, it's That's empty. Oh, what a shame. Get your fingers in there, Rusty. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's empty. Another piece of road sign. Oh, quick one before she does a sign. Uh, that's half a bike lock. So you can see the holes there where the D was. This one's still got the keys in. And that 
Uh, is a highly exciting find, just a massive nut. Massive nut with something concreted on the side of it. I don't know what. I've got a find that'll intrigue you, Nigel. Well, Go on in. Part of the roadside. I've got a torch off a bike, a little bike light. To rebind it up, haven't we? Black lettering on a white background. Ooh. Yeah. Oh, it's too far gone. Oh, is it? Oh, yeah. This has actually got oil street on it. So right. 10p, not bad. Nasty battery. Get another massive nut. And uh oh, random. Now Glenn found one. Steve found one. And uh, yeah, Radio 3. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> oh, little figure. Right, just pull down these. That is actually the vent of an old gas mask from World War II. But as Steve's told me, as Rusty's told me, that You've got to be careful with this because there might be asbestos in it, so you've got to be very careful. See? It's not really, it's a pepper shaker. <laughs> I'm joking, it is. <laughs> it's actually a green bugger. It's a mask, not a filter. A filter, not a vent. A filter, that's yeah. it. A filter. A filter off the gas mask. Oh, lovely. And that had a screwed off there. I'm learning it. It would, yeah. And I've just found that, whatever it is. I think it's to do with gas pipes, I'm not sure. Oh, just found that. Oh, look at that. <laughs> a little heart. I don't know if you can see that. Oh, there we go. Anyway, and I pulled out this as well. And I have no clue, so if anybody can help. Out. It's much appreciated. If you're starting again, I'll tell you. He was just coming to show you. He was just coming to show you his love mix tape for you. <laughs> <laughs> love mix of IT for you. <laughs> Look, we're fighting again. <laughs> I'll keep him in line. Where's Mr. Fox as well? <laughs> Have you found anything, Mr. Fox? Well, there's still plenty of stuff coming out. And then there's uh, like a big pile of money around somewhere. Uh, just not, not too, too good. Never I found a magnet. <laughs> 
Slow me down, this is slow me down. <laughs> Something on it. And the true peaky style. <laughs> Some razors. Pretty cup. And a pet and a set of crusted up keys. So what you got? A uh, really good fun. <laughs> Look at that. <gasps> That's, That's an old one. Twenties, thirties, the spokes. I know they look bad, but they're, oh, they're all pretty much intact. That's that's off a car. Yeah. Don't know what car. But it's, it's old. Still in there. <laughs> could be. Could be. But, but it's very, old. Very old. Beyond any sort of renovation, so yeah. it'll just go on the scrap pile. Yeah. That's uh, nice. Nice a one, Mr. Gap. Fox. Look at some metal. Nice one. World War II, Jenny yeah, can it would probably would have been on an army vehicle. Oh. And um, I had out as well a grapple hook. Oh we lost sewers. You know what? The news is an anchor. Might not be in bad nick. Step over one minute. That might not be in bad nick to be fair, you get a grinder on that and clean it up a bit. Not so we could probably tie it back, but yeah, World War Two, easy. Metal cup as well. Oh, that's why sticks open. Guys, I just pulled out a mooring hook. Is that what it is? <laughs> that's what it is. It's usually set into the concrete for the boats to moor up to. Oh, wow. Pulled the complete thing up. Oh, but that was ever. <laughs> and we've got a little pit pony shoe. Eee. <laughs> a bit of history. There we go. Oh, oh, but that was every ruster. It was. And we've got a corkscrew from the week. <laughs> <laughs> and the elusive 10mm spanner. It's never a 10mm. It is, and ah. it's an old one at that, I know. <laughs> <laughs> okay, guys, I've got an old accent. That is mega old, that. Look at that. It's where the Handle used to go, that's the back end of it. And I found a piece of canister shot. Well, I'd say it's a little Saker. It's a little mini cannonball. There's a pen knife on there. Oh! And rusty. Oh, I'll tell you what that is. Is that a cut down? I'm not sure. Looks like a pen, doesn't it? Let's get this out. It's either an old pen knife that Steve's just found, or it's. Um, Cutthroat razor. But I think it's a little pen knife because I've just rubbed it down and I can see the scrub in for the handle. Might be mother of pearl. Oh and your lung rollick. Roll it. <laughs> <laughs> so it's going to the end of the day guys. There's Roger. Hiya. There's the new car with Steve. Oh, it, oh it's Littlin. I thought it was Steve. Hey, it's there. Aston today. Aston. Yeah, so there's the car that Jess went off the outcast. Yeah, Collected lovely. today. Lovely. So uh, she's over the moon, so that's the main thing. There's Lindsay and Rog. Like and subscribe to uh, Magnet Mad Mum and Dad. And uh, like them on Facebook as well. And join the group. Thank you. Thank you very much. Have I not got to go along and say goodbye to everyone? Bye, everyone.
Bye bye. Bye bye everyone. Bye. See you later. See you later. Well, you go. Then we got Nigel and Aaron having a last little fish, nocturnal fish. <laughs> we got Nigel there. And we've got Steve there. Uh, and there's Glenn so, Bell's outro. Yeah, so you, you just got a sneak preview on his outro, look. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> See you on the finds, guys. <laughs> the finds roundup. Hello. Oh, and you might be wondering why you've got me and not Mr. Peaky. Um, he's been called off on a family emergency. Uh, nothing to worry about. He's got everything in hand. So, yeah. So you've got me, in mind. <laughs> um, I'll just run through some of the finds with you. Uh, Glenn pulled out this accent. That's an old one, isn't it? But yeah, there's there's an accent. And he pulled, well, we all pulled out. I don't think this is all of them, to be honest. Uh, some wibbly wobblies, jumbly bumblies. So, yeah, there we go. Put them to be the collection for somebody. And I pulled out a little, a little creature. Whoever he might be. I don't know. Looks like he would have wound up at some point. <laughs> and pulled out an horseshoe. Well, a pony, probably. And is that a pony? Or is it a obnal boot? There we go. I'm not as knowledgeable as Glenn. But uh, yeah, pulled out those. Pulled out a chisel. And sometimes it, if they're not too bad, um, we can use them again. That's a bit jagged on the edge there, so you might, uh, you might get rid of that one. Uh, the knife, normally pull out a knife, spoon, Rusty's got the uh, the lurgy, he's got the spoon thing, so uh, yeah, no, we did pull out a knife and fork, so Glenn's probably used them for his dinner. Um, combination padlock, I love, I love the combinations, but uh, it's a bit seized up that one is, so again, that'll probably go. And I pulled up this, and it looks like obviously Glenn's managed to get it all open. Bless him, because that was well crudded up. So, more a bit of a multi tool there. Yep. And a little diddy pad, round padlock. Look at that. Again, it's all crudded up. But uh, yeah, they're always they're always nice to pull out. A nice one. That would have been some kind of a pen knife, possibly. And we did pull out um, another kind of pen knife, but not sure if Glenn's still cleaning that up or well, there's that one anyway. Okay. Some crusted up keys. And we pulled out this. Now it's terrible really, because a few of us have been bikers in our time. Um, I didn't know what it was at the time, but it is actually a foot pedal off a motorbike. <laughs> Which we didn't recognise at the time, but once we Glenn tapped a bit of crud off it and brought it back, uh, yeah, realised what it was. So, <laughs> there we go. Uh, now Nigel Perry pulled out a flintlock. Unfortunately, the way things come out the rivers sometimes, um, as you see on the video, it was just fell apart, which is, which is a shame, but never mind. And also, uh, Rusty pulled out what was like um, some kind of money box um, in the shape of like a book. So, but yeah, oh, Glenn um, managed to tap it off and everything and have a look. So, yeah, check him out. This is one blended earlier. Here we go, guys. So we found what we thought was a tin. Well, Rusty did. Um, 
it's well crudded up. I've put it in warm water to soak. Um, I've started getting some of the crud off. I don't know if you can hear this, but this is the metal edge. And this is the lever. So it's not tin. Uh, but it is quite heavy, so it's probably just full of muck. So I think what we're going to do, we're going to have to cut it open and just see if there's anything inside it. Um, it'd be nice if there is. It is quite heavy. Um, whether there's coins in there or notes or what. It is mega old, you can see. There's pebbles stuck to it the lot. But I am trying to get this as clean as I can and I just think it's a lost effort. I think... We're just going to have to literally crack it open and see what's inside. So, I'll come back to you in a second, guys. So, guys, um, as you can see, I've tapped that pebble off the other side. And it is definitely level, look. You can hear it. I'm trying to scrape the crud off, but I think we're just going to have to go for it. We're going to have to get into it somehow. I'm literally going to use this axe head here from cleaning up. Um, and bash into it, and let's just see what's in. Let's hope there's something in there, it'd be nice, wouldn't it? Let's tap the crud away. Right, guys, so we have deciphered. There's a little lock there, a little key lock. Um, we have deciphered it's some kind of little safe. So it's like a little book that you'd hide your stuff in. So now's the moment of truth. Let's see if there's anything in it. And in true Peaky Dipper style, there's absolutely nothing in it. Except for dried up crud, yeah, it was ever. Um, but yeah, there was no way I could have saved it, so it was, it was one of them where we've had to take it apart, unfortunately. But, um, as you can see, it was some kind of little tin. It was some kind of little tin. And if I can try and get some writing off the metal, then I will. But there's nothing in it. There's now uh, not even a not even an old farthing. But uh, at least we've showed you guys it open. It would have been amazing if there'd have been something in there. We just check the other side of it. No, it's just oh, an old, <laughs> just an old tin. So, unfortunately, guys, you didn't witness me gain any gold coins. <laughs> but uh, I had to do what I had to do. I hate breaking these things. But I've had to do what I've had to do. Because it was just a nightmare. I couldn't get in it. There we go. Peaky uh, managed to get it open, not the crud off, but uh, unfortunately nothing in it. But a uh, nice find, nice find, Rusty. It would have been a, some kind of old money tin or something in the shape of a book. But it did seem to have leather on the, the outer casing, so yeah. But uh, I, hope you enjoy, I, I hope you enjoyed the video, and I hope I ain't rambled on too much or made things a little bit short on the finds, but yeah, you've had to deal with me today. But from me, Peaky, Rusty and Silver Fox. Really hope you enjoyed the video and stay safe and we'll see you on the next one.